Hello Guardians, better late than never here. I'm going to do the solo Nightfall run through of the Will of Crota this week. Modifiers we've got are Void Burn, Juggler, Catapult, and Exposure. It's kind of an interesting week. Will of Crota not that bad with Void Burn, but all in all, it's the last room with Exposure that gets to be a royal pain in the butt. I know because I've had multiple hours of trying, finally got it on Sunday night, like, I don't know, 1230 in the morning, so... Never know when you're going to quite finish these things, but I did finish it, so I do want to get this video posted for you guys. Uh, for my build, though, as you guys always ask, running Voidwalker. That's what I've been trying all week. Just try that thing early in the morning, just didn't finish it, and had more crazy stuff going on. But scatter grenades are the big piece. You pair those with your nothing manacles. It's a great combination. Uh, you have two grenades, so as you have used Catapult, you get that second one back consistently, so you have it more frequent to use. And as you throw one, the next one's already building up, and with Catapult and Energy Drain, which is the next piece of the build, Energy Drain, Life Steal, and Embrace the Void. Very good combination when you've got Catapult and Void Burn. It's pretty lethal. So Embrace the Void every time you throw a grenade. Obviously, you trigger the Energy Drain and restores part of your health. Energy Drain, energy drain itself will reduce the cooldown of your grenade, and then Life Steal takes a chunk of health. Now the big thing with exposure, you're going to have the two-thirds of that health bar that are shield. They take a while to go down, but once they're down, you lose them. Now there's two ways to counter that. One is this whole lifesteal combination. Every grenade you throw and every grenade kill you get, mostly every grenade kill you get, you have a chance to get that chunk of health back and add back up. Now it's not going to do all at once like your normal refresh would do, but it's still going to give you a chunk of shield back. That's a lot more than you would get unless you were just standing still. The other thing you can do is red death. Now, if you use both of them, maybe you'll be getting your health back quite frequently. But in general, I was trying to go with truth just for a whole lot of rockets that I could use. So I went with truth, uh, a void sniper rifle that I had, Devil's Dawn, and hung jury. The reason I'm saying had, I'm actually recording this intro afterwards because my previous intros got corrupted. So I want to get this intro on here for you guys. But again, void walker, nothing manacles, void sniper, and truth was my build. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. So have a good one and we'll cut back in once this thing loads. All right. So once you land in, jump on your sparrow and enjoy the commentary. How do we make sure she stays dead? I wonder if the hive think that about us. To the hive, death is relative. We'll face on the goal as many times as it takes. Guess we were made for each other. Alright, so sometimes you'll have a heavy ammo crate right down here where I'm shooting. If not, don't worry about that. There's crates that are going to be somewhere in the room later. The one you really want is just a heavy ammo crate in the final room, but you can still use synths if you need to. Once you come up here, though, look to your left. You want to First thing you want to look for is this captain over here on the left. He's going to be your biggest focus. A couple scatter grenades should be able to take a lot of this corner out over here. Potentially, if you don't get them all, you'll get most of them pretty quickly. Keep chunking over there until you really clear that side out. There's quite a few guys over there and you just don't want to get hit in the back if you can help it. If you clear that out, then you just turn around and start chunking them that way. Going to have some shanks in here. Once you get them to start coming around the corner, you can really start working these guys. Now this captain here, he's a bit aggressive. He's usually not this aggressive, but if they are, start looking for these stealth guys as well. They're going to start coming into play. As the stealth guys start to come in, really use those grenades, maybe a shot or two to pull them back. Just remember we've got that permanent Siva fixture right there, you can't really get rid of that one. You're going to have one captain straight out ahead. One grenade can potentially take him out, then you're going to have the vandals in the back, then you're going to have the one shank here in front. Keep chunking to that back wall back there, you'll take out the Siva structure, you're also going to take out most of the snipers. Now once those go down, you're really going to start to hear the thrall come into play. As those come around the corner, grenade after grenade... Gonna have some, you're going to have some knights coming in. But you're also going to be able to sit here and do this for about a day and a half. If you want to just sit there and pick off enemies, you can. Now, if you kill yourself with some grenades, you're still going to be able to get a decent amount of health back. So, You should be able to, as a warlock, at least be able to build up a pretty good amount of health back once you lose it. Just keep chunking those grenades, getting that energy drain to work. And just keep killing stuff that's out there. There's a lot of things to kill. You can just sit here and primary them all day long if you want some primary streaks. You can get those. You can get explosive streaks for days. All that stuff will go down. You'll have plenty of enemies to explode later on. Watch for these boomer knights on the right hand side. As long as you keep hitting the thrall, you'll at least get some of your energy back. 
Apparently I'm taking a bit of a beating right now, a little more than intended. Alright, so, now once you actually have killed enough of the hive, you're going to have some more SIVA that spawns, so keep an eye for those, but you're also going to still have those boomers out there, so just look around, check what's out and around there. The two things you want to look for, there's going to be two major SIVA. One on the back wall over here on the right, and usually one down in the center. And also you're still going to have those boomer knights around as well. And you're still going to have some thrall that are just going to be an annoying. So watch for those. Watch for, again, those major vandals as they pop around. A couple grenades can do a lot of damage to them. So pick those off. And then, again, you'll have one more va major vandal here in the middle. One grenade on him should do some work. But as the boomers and, th and the hive are trying to work him down, just keep working on what you can see. Again, right here, if you can shoot him in the back. Nice grenade should work him down. Now once he drops, both vandals are down. You're going to be waiting for an audio cue that those laser doors are opening. When that happens, make sure you have some rockets ready and you can move to the next phase pretty quickly. Just like this. That can be a pretty quick cleanup if you use that truth rocket well. Take that knight out, see if there's any ammo around if you need that. I mean, there can potentially be some. You never quite know, but if not, you can always punch some dude in the face. But, yep, 16,000 points. You can come up here and skip this. Now, if I use primary mostly in that room and then heavy, come up here with your sniper rifle, pick off the captain, pick off that guy, and then you're going to have one little guy up here. If you can pick him off, that'll be a nice little rainbow medal. Sometimes it is. That one apparently didn't want to be one for me. But keep using your grenades on these guys around the corners. You'll have... Vandals over there, a couple more snipers, watch for those. I would switch over to your sniper and try and pick off the snipers. For some reason, these guys' crit spot is their right ear. As you can see, that actually counts. For whatever reason, it works. But again, once he's that low, anywhere will take him out. But yeah, right on the middle of his dome won't take him out. But of course, his ear seems to work. For whatever reason, I will never understand. Ah, that's going to suck. Julie me alone. Thanks. You're going to have some shanks that start coming in. The closer to the front of this room you're in, the better off you are that the shanks are actually going to stay spawning in front of you. If you get moving too far to the back, they're actually going to spawn in the room, some behind you. Gets to be a little annoying, so just be careful where you're at. Now, you're going to have two more snipers, so watch out for those. You've got the one above that you don't have to worry about yet, but this guy here, snipe him in the air, and this guy here, you can snipe him, pick him off. Now, if you shoot him once, you'll probably knock him off and have to throw a grenade or two to find him. Again, those grenades are doing their work. This is pretty much the only way to really do this run is, honestly, a warlock with these exploding grenades seems to be pretty much the most effective way I've seen. If anybody else does it, but from what I've heard, this is the way to go. Here's your other vandal. Again, that right ear. Finish that crit spot off. I've got some... Some ammo down there, so I'm going to use a bit of these rockets, try and finish him off, and anybody who's standing around him. Now, as soon as you take him out, the ship is going to come in. Check for the guy above you. One grenade up there should take him out fairly quickly. Once that happens, run back behind and into this room. Nice thing about being back here is, for one, the ship won't fire you once you're back in the room. I say that, and it's the first time I've ever seen it do that. Turn at me. One more time. Nope. Alright, so he's going to be a big weenie, but I've got a heavy ammo box, and he's going to be hiding back here. So try and pick him off. Use those grenades pretty much vigilantly. Anywhere, everywhere you can throw them. Apparently those ships are going to shoot me. Normally, if you're back here behind this line, the ships won't shoot at you, but apparently they're going to be basically um, doing exactly what they say they don't do for me today. But yeah, keep firing those. Uh, so it looks like I've got plenty of rocket ammo on the ground. I've got a rocket ammo box. And the ships are mostly done once I've got two of them down. So at this point, what you're looking for is the heavy captain, the major back there. And you got to hit him twice with a big rocket. Now, I'm only jumping in the air just for the vantage. I'm not really going for, like, an airborne bonus. There's no real no benefit to jumping in the air besides just being able to see what I'm shooting at. But again, what you're looking for is that major captain... And apparently he was hidden behind there, so I'll take that. Pick up my heavy ammo, and then we'll keep going on. Don't waste too much time. Again, time is of the essence. You're going to have plenty of time, but it's just good to move on to the part you need to as fast as possible. 
Take out the dregs over here. Once you've got them down, you can just kind of run on by. I've got 22 minutes left. I've got 31,000 points. I've got plenty of ammo. This part of the strike, not that hard. For whatever reason, it's the last little room, last like 10% of the fight I have these issues with. I've tried multiple times. I saw Esoteric do it earlier in the week. Same principle, same guys, same thing I started doing with. I checked his later on. It was like, yep, we're all trying the same thing. Scatter grenades with a void walker for the big boom, the grenade catapult bonus, the energy drain to counter exposure, all that stuff we're doing the same way. I just seem to have issues with the last 10% of the fight. Unfortunately, these guys got their levels bumped a little bit, so they hurt a little more than I thought than they normally do. Now, here you're also going to have these three cursed thrall. So I killed one, there's two, there's three, and there's also going to be that sword knight. Sword knight you don't need to worry about, but the cursed thrall, they, you do. I've had them be right here when I come around the corner. And that's annoying because I've tried to jump over them or run by. They explode and I lost two-thirds of my health. That kind of sucked. So kill the three Curse Thrall and then you can run. But make sure you track down those Curse Thrall first. Once you're in the run around this corner, find this little square panel here. Hold square even if the little icon's not up just to kick this thing off. How's it going, stream? Working on a solo Nightfall. This is like my third attempt at this. I've had many an attempt, but this is like my third evening of attempts. Yeah, seeing if I can make this thing happen. I can get through, again, 98% of this fight. I can manage pretty simply. Get to be really a pain on the last about 10%. So if you can come in here, get a nice grenade, drop her shield, and you can get a few crits on her. You can get her to actually move on before she really starts to be an annoyance. Main thing you need to worry about is, for one, the Thrall, and two, the Sword Knight. Yeah, depending on how many of the guys you can kill there, you can take your sweet time. Yeah, you're going to have some enemies coming to you. This is a good time to get some joys of uh, firefly explosions. Have some fun. Luke, what is going up? What is going on, sir? All right, so if, depending on the amount of damage you do, when you come around this corner, you're going to have two wizards and hopefully not too much else aggravated yet. If it's just the two wizards or as quick as you can, target the major wizard and just shoot it straight away. You want to basically try and take it out quickly. It's just going to save you a whole bunch of time. Because they move around a lot, they're kind of shifty, so if you can take it out early, it's just going to help. Going to have a few more Curse they're all running around. Watch for those. Take those out so they don't run up on you. Once these guys get spawned, get your sniper rifle ready, and you're going to have a boomer up top. Clock him, score in the face. See if you can chunk a grenade high enough up to hit her. I don't even know if I can. Just keep chunking it. Wherever she's going to run off to. Yeah, she's annoying. We all know it. So once she screams again, she's going to really get out of here pretty quickly, but shoot her enough to make sure she really leaves the room. And then you're going to have the fun part of this with Voidburn. You're going to have yourself an ogre to deal with. When that happens, you're going to have an ogre. You're also going to have a couple knights coming around the corner right about then. If that's the case, use the joys of your grenades. Try and take them out. If you get one more, clock him square in the nose. And then start grenading your ogre. You can grenade the ogre, get him to be stunned for a second. Nice little shot in the face, and another one, he's down. Once that happens, you're going to have about three more boomers and some miscellaneous junk in the back. There's one. Oh, staggered him. Where'd he go? Come on back. Nope, he's shielded. You're going to have one way back here on the left, and you're going to have this one here in the middle. You take those out, then you're really going to get her to scream. She has a lovely voice, doesn't she? As, as Cade says, yeah, be careful. So now creep up slowly. You're going to get some of the Acolytes to spawn. You're going to have a few more of these Thrall. Take them out with ease. Now what you really want to do is try and get these Acolytes to peek their head out. Take them out before they really get too much damage on you because they are Void, so be careful. Come on. I know. Potentially, yep. No Curse Thrall, so I'm going to go for a Grenade Toss. I don't know if that one's far enough. At least I did it far enough to piss him off. At least I got him to peek his head out, and that's all I was really going for. Just enough to get everybody to show up. And take your time here. This is not a point where you want to lose health. You can go in and die if you want to, but it's better off if you don't. How? What? Okay, seriously. How am I getting even remotely poisoned? That's a wizard thing. There are no wizards right here. Kind of ridiculous, but oh well. Very professional and entertaining. I'm glad you think so. I'm probably terrible. Let's just say my outtakes is not very professional and entertaining, but for the moment, so far. Alright, so once you come up here, 
make sure the world's all reloaded. Sniper ammo. Probably should have picked some of that up down there. Yep, that little box is not a bad thing to go grab. Or if you got some ammo here, you're probably going to get a buttload of it to drop, so keep that in mind. We've got a decent enough ammo right now, I'm not too worried. So when you come in this room the first time, if you haven't died, you can get the jump on her. Just run by here real quick, she usually doesn't notice. If you come back here, she's probably going to be on the far side. So what you want to do, I try and throw one grenade, take her shield down. If I have two, definitely chunk that one. I want two, I want my three rocket unload on her. And then I'm going to go for my super. What I'm really trying to do is do enough damage to get her to leave the room. If you can get her to scream and leave the room, then you can actually have a pretty quick uh, boost to the next phase of the fight. If you don't, that's okay. Careful of your own grenades, they do tend to sting a little bit. But as the thralls come in, they do tend to run at you. Now they're going to run at you from a side, just like over here. Unfortunately, they're going to jump down a little bit, so time to run underneath. Now right now, they're just normal thrall, not that big of a deal. As you can see, there's my ammo, really not too terrified about that one. And some more heavy ammo. So once you get her to a point where she screams, she's going to leave and you're going to have the next spawn of enemies. There's the scream, she'll be out of here in a second. Or she ought to be at least, there we go. Alright, pick up any ammo, now all the enemies are going to spawn down on the right hand side. Now make sure you have no thrall or anything spawning in front of you, which you shouldn't if you've had a bit of a delay. If you kill everything really quick, you might spawn stuff quickly together. But now's the point where the scatter grenades do make quite a killing in here. Check that middle section. Try and keep the staircase clear if you can. It's not always possible. But if you can, keep it clear. What you're looking for, honestly, that one guy on the right-hand side to, to really go down quickly. That one in the window is the one that's really going to kick off her. And if you can save him for last and keep the bottom clear, then jump down. Get out of her line of sight because she basically comes in firing hard and fast. And she's also going to have enemies dropping down over here. Now these are where the Cursed Thrall are going to start to come in and they get to be a bit tricky. Now the Cursed Thrall, if you can help it for a little while, will be a little slower at the spawn. And you can actually... Now unfortunately as I'm going to have some Thrall behind me now, i got to get on the move. Watch behind you. The knight here is going to be your main bane of your existence. If you can come around this corner, that'll save you for a minute. If you can punch one, be careful. Those poison clouds are painful. Alright, so if you can get through this part, wait for the next phase of guys to come in. You can come back up here. She'll definitely see you, but you can do what you can. Make sure everything's reloaded. As I said, 14 minutes, 52,000 points. Those pieces aren't the issue. It's literally just survival. That is the main issue in this entire fight, is just making it through. Trying to pump the damage into her as much as you can. Now what I need... Now she screamed, which is good. It means she leaves. So these next phase of enemies, I'm just going to be able to take out with some grenades. Get some health. Wait for them to keep coming. Keep throwing those grenades out there. Between the curse thrall and everything else, you should be able to take some stuff out. Also, nice thing about the grenades, you can get the health back. Alright, so once the Thrall are done spawning, give it a second, make sure you got nothing. You're going to have all the enemies down here on the left. Now you're going to have an Ogre, but you're also going to have a boatload of Acolytes. Now it's really nice when you get a nice fun explosion and run of Acolytes in a big grouping. Your grenades are quite effective. Watch the staircase over here on the left, sometimes they will come up. I've also seen them like jump up, and they just seem to like skip the whole, you know, staircase on my left situation. When that happens, okay, so once one Ogre goes down, you're going to have two more ogres spawn. One, as you can tell, is right in front of me. Not that hard. The other one's over here in the window. He's a bit more of a pain. Now, here's the acolyte that just jumped up and felt like joining the party. Don't know where he came from. Not really sure. But he's just being a jerk. But, again, at this point, hit these guys in the dome. Give them the good crit spot. And then if you can throw one grenade to try and kill him with a grenade, might be able to take him out. If not, I'm going to go for one more toss. What you're trying to do is kill those guys with a grenade to get that energy drain and that life chunk to come back. Same with this guy down here. Try and throw a grenade on him and get him worked down. However you can work him down, shoot his arm, shoot him, get him really low on health, and then save that grenade to finish him off. It can be a bit tricky, depending on his angle. But what you're trying to do is not take any extra damage while still doing damage with your grenade. Now, as soon as that ogre dies, this is where you want to make sure you're reloaded. So I'm just going to pop a heavy synth here for the sake of it. 
I don't really need to wait on anything else. Make sure I have three of coins popped, which I probably already do. Nope, somehow I don't. Probably ran another strike. Alright, so reloaded. And taking a minute, I've got double grenades up. As soon as this ogre goes down, she is going to spawn. When she spawns again, she's going to be pissed. And this is the point where... Now, if you can get out of her line of sight before she spawns, you can just wait for these dice to start spawning down in. They should start spawning just like that. And if you can help it, you can actually take out the Cursed Thrall, which would be nice. Before they really start to be an issue. Now, the normal Thrall can be a bit aggressive over here. Watch for those. But if you can bring most of these guys down to you... Oh, I'm in a Poison Cloud. That's not good. If you got to run, run. That's fine. Again, watch for the enemies. Watch your radar. This is one of the points where Gellion's, uh, or the memory of Gellion, would be pretty beneficial. Again, take a minute and check what you can do. She's going to be right above, so if you want to actually throw one, bounce it off the ceiling. You can do that to drop her shield down and try and keep your health up. Again, what you're looking for, trying to take these enemies out before they really get too aggressive. Oh, that curse thrall is the one. Oh, I somehow avoided that one. Not sure exactly how. But really try and stay mobile during this section. This is the point where these curse thrall, you can handle a thrall. They're not as big of a deal, and if anything else, they're probably just going to give you some health. It's actually probably one of my better runs at this point. Trying not to jinx myself. Got some ammo up there. But again, you can bounce these grenades off the ceiling. See if you can get them to her, but of course you actually got to know where she's at. She seems to be over there. Nice. That'll work. Kind of piss her off. Where'd she go? She moves a lot. Again, here's the point. Just want to make sure you got no enemies spawning. Try and basically fade these, space these out as much as you can. She's probably right under this pipe. There's some damage. Where'd she go? Hi. Well, I'd love to pick up that ammo. Oh, I think I actually got it. That's nice. All right, so. There's a point where you basically need to get ready to get up top because the enemies are going to spawn from down below. This is where it's going to get tricky. And this is where you also need to have as much damage into her as possible quickly so you don't really take that final beating. And that's kind of the hard part. That last beating is where you need to really be able to be ready to put damage into her with, for one, both your rockets and a super is what I'm trying to do. Because if I can get her to call that last set of enemies, I've got a lot of damage to do and a lot of damage to do quickly. Again, try and stay mobile, try and stay out of our line of fire. Nine minutes, I've got plenty of time. I'm in literally no rush right now. I can actually take time, get my health back. I need to pop a heavy synth, I could. But again, just chunking those grenades, really trying to get that damage on her when possible. You're really just waiting for that scream. When that scream happens, you want to be ready for it. So I've got four rockets still. I've got three. She, where'd she go? There we go. Bounce that one off the ceiling if I can. Rain down on her. Yeah, I know you're mad. I know you're mad. Oh, hi. That one hit her score in the face. And when she screams, try and get up to this level quick. And this is where you gotta go fast. Go for it quick. Get that one rocket. Finished her. Nice. Alright, make sure you don't die from any of these random curse thrall that spawn in. And she's done. All right, eight-minute bonus. Nice, solid finish. Only took me half the week to do it, but I got there. So at this point, equip any of the highest stuff that you've got. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's been a long time in the works for me this week. Not the easiest for me, but it's been a good one. I don't think she gives the greatest stuff as drops, but it, she does drop the grasp of Malak that could be good, so why not? Well, I got nothing, so... Nice, man. Thank you, G. Thank you, Luke. Very nice. Yeah, that's that last little bit. Just take your time. Have everything ready and reloaded. Full wipeout. Really? Ghost? At least that's 400. More infusion fodder. Well, let's go see what the skeleton key got me. Well, yeah. This commentary right here is for the YouTube video. Of course, thank you guys for checking the video out. 
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Um, took me half the week to get this one done, so I apologize about the delay, but I'll post this one up so you guys at least have one day to go for it. But, but if nothing else, when she comes up again, we've got, you know, nine months till Destiny 2 shows up, so I'm sure she'll be in here again. So thank you guys as always. Check out the main page. Subscribe there. Put a drop a like there if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see any changes. Just enjoyed it. Had fun. Good times. And that's about it. Also, guys, on these, as I said, took me a good better part of the week to work on this one. So I've got a fair amount of commentary of ones where I don't quite finish it successfully. I also have some commentary where, <laughs> let's just say I have some expletives, some F-bombs, and amongst other things, quite a few that um, probably aren't really what you'd call G-rated commentary. So I've got that stuff out there as well. So I've thought about putting some outtakes up and things like that so you guys can see, hey, this 21-minute 20 20 video that looks perfect. That's not how they come together, I can promise you, on ones like this where you got to have, you know, kind of all things fall together at the right time. Something like the Fallen Saber Strike, that war sat part definitely takes a lot of work. So if you guys ever want to see the commentary, something like that, let me know that as well. I'd be happy to throw that one up there and you guys can laugh. You guys always seem to enjoy those parts where I struggle. Joys of, you know, misery loves company, I guess. But in general, if you guys enjoyed that, want to see some uh, entertaining uh, fail commentary, let me know that as well. Have a good one, guys, and enjoy.